right? But for you, was it just a matter of uh, keep shooting and something was going to fall, much like Ryan? Um, for sure. You always got to keep shooting. If you got the, uh, if you got a good look, you got to let it go. As a follow up, I mean, much as you know, the, the slow start uh, was obvious. How much of that was just a long layoff, or, or did Miami do anything? Start off doing something different that you all didn't see, didn't expect. I wouldn't say it was either one of those. Not being a, um, more time off should give us more energy and more um, more juice to come out and play. Want to come out and play? It was just us not communicating on the defensive end. We got to do better on defense. Do you feel like you've improved quite a bit since the start of the season? And if so, in what ways? And you playing better now than ever, you feel? Yes, sir. I do feel that I've improved um, throughout the summer, throughout the season. I feel like I'm c continuing to get better and better um, in a in bunch of different ways. I would say the biggest is just being able to play hard 24-7 the whole game. You're down 10, 13, 15 in that first half. What were the huddles like? What, what kept you all going? Staying together. Uh, we got to stay together big time, man. It's just talking about what we had to do, talking about what our mistakes was, and being able to go out there and communicate the right way. What turned it? Energy, communication. Malik, in the second half, could you tell that they were they were only playing seven guys? Could you tell that they were getting tired, they were running out of gas? Um, you could tell a little bit, but not too much. I mean, both of us, it looked like both teams were getting a little tired, but <clears throat> they did a little bit. I would say you've seen them a few, tonight, few of them tonight, uh, knocking down open shots, just playing with a lot of energy, crashing the boards, grabbing rebounds. Can you imagine trying to go through an ACC schedule with, what, seven, eight guys like they're getting ready to do at Miami? No. <laughs> nah. You scored 11 in a row there in that one stretch. Were you aware of you were doing that? Or, I mean, um, if somebody had said, oh, you've scored 11 in a row, would you have been surprised? Or Yeah, I know that. No, I actually didn't know. Um, until uh, I got taken out, actually, and somebody had told me. I was actually a little surprised, but things were just coming to me, and I was just making them work. What's it like? You had a couple times tonight where you're matched up against the five-seven guy. He's got the ball top of the key. You're in a stance. Uh, he's quick, top scorer, one of them. What's that like? Uh, it's different. Um, having to <clears throat> having to go out there and sit down on a wing, especially a guy as quick and as talented as as he was, uh, it's tough. It's something that I gotta learn how to do though, because at any time I could be matched up with him. So I gotta get better at it. <clears throat> when Ryan was in here, he made a point of of talking about how. You uh, get results from busting your ass. Uh, is that uh, uh, you talked about effort and energy throughout? Is, is something changed? Are you able to be more consistent in that regard? I think it's just wanting to play hard for. I mean, we got a great coaching staff, and they bust their butts for us. So I don't see no reason why I can't go out there and play hard for them every night. That's all it really is. Anything else for Malik? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.